Good evening. You're watching Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. In a few minutes, B.S. Yadurappa tells us whether he's going to split with the BJP on a day when L.K. Advani asserts himself at the party's national executive and calls for unity. Is Advani asserting his claim to the, be the BJP's prime ministerial candidate? Also, Ajit Pawar's resignation is finally accepted by his party, but is the divide in the Pawar family? now complete. All that and more in the next 60 minutes. But first, an exclusive interview with B.S. Yadurapa, the former Karnataka chief minister who has declared war on his party. Today, he came out in open praise for Sonia Gandhi and the Congress. His stinging words couldn't have come at a worse time for the BJP, which was holding its national executive meeting near Delhi, a meeting that Yadurapa boycotted. I spoke to B.S. Yadurapa just a short while ago. Mr. Yadirapa, you had some unusual praise for Sonia Gandhi and the Congress party today saying that they don't let down their leaders. What prompted you to make such unusual statements? I still think Atalji and Advaniji are like my two eyes. But fact is a fact. In Congress, from Nehru's time to Sonia Gandhi's time, they never went by the report of few persons we have vested interest. They never made anyone as scapegoat on the basis of false allegations. Whereas in our party, for example, in Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Delhi, etc., what is happening to our state leaders, which are known to everybody. That is why I have given the remarks. But are you saying then by implication that the current BJP leadership has essentially let you down? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Just now I have given an example of Mr. Vasaraja, Vijayaraja Sindhyaji, Gopinath Munde and Madanlal Kurana. In fact, after Sri Atal Bihari Vajpais, I am not feeling that our central leaders has united together to guide us properly. That is the difference between Congress party and uh, Bharatiya Janata party. But what is it uh, exactly that you want from the BJP now? Do you want to be a uh, president of the state unit? Do you think that they should make you chief minister? Is that what you think uh, you deserve? What do you want from your party? I am not an aspirant for any post. It is too late. I am now I don't want even a president post or chief minister post. I always believed in God and uh, people of Karnataka, they will uh, decide my fate in uh, future course. That it's too late. Uh, are you saying that then you're ready to break from the BJP and form your own party? You see, I'm touring in the state from last two months. And again, a third phase, I'm started touring from next uh, month, first week. I want to know the people's opinion and our workers' opinion. So far, I have not taken any decision. After December, I will take my own decision what should be in my future uh, course. So you are considering then forming your own party? You are seriously considering that? So far, I have not decided. I am just I'm taking the opinion of the workers and our uh, well wishers. Then I will take a final decision in the month of December. In the month of December. But Mr. Yadurapa, is there no way that your relationship with the BJP can be repaired between now and December? You see, from last uh, six months, uh, our uh, national leaders deceived me like anything. They have promised that you are going to be made uh, president of the party, but Nitin Gadkari has not taken decision. He himself has promised me. And after getting some relief from the court about Santosh Ekade's report that he will be made chief minister of Karnataka, I got some relief from the court, but even then, our national leaders have not taken any decision. Like that, they are deceiving me like anything. That is why I have decided not to take any responsibility in the Bharati Janata Party as president or any other post. All right, Mr. Yadirapa, thanks very much for speaking to us on Left, Right and Centre. Well, those comments by the former Karnataka CM come as the BJP was wrapping up its three-day national executive meeting here in Delhi, a meeting where party veteran LK Advani today strongly called for party leaders to speak in one, one voice, ironically, and to also be above board when it comes to corruption. Interestingly, those comments came at a time when Nitin Gadkari is under attack. This is not just ordinary corruption. It is loot. We are 
अपने अपने यहां पर भी कोई कमी है तो उसमें भी वैसी कठोरता चाहिए And so as we move on to our first debate tonight we're looking closely at that BJP's national executive meeting and asking whether LK Advani's comments are essentially an assertion by him uh, for his claim to be prime ministerial candidate we're also looking at the BJP strategy uh, when it comes to attacking the government joining us on the program tonight uh, union minister Sachin Pilot will be joined shortly by the BJP spokesperson Mr Rajiv Pratap Rudi also with us tonight are two political commentators Siddharth Bhatia from Mumbai and Mr Krishna Prasad the editor in chief of Outlook is with us let me ask mr prasad first about advani's comments today you know he sounded like a uh, you know a statesman he sounded sounded like a party supremo he was giving them advice on corruption he was giving them advice on not speaking in multiple voices what do you think advani was trying to do here you know nidhi i think you could read this message in several different ways and one way of reading this is what you mentioned basically which is that he's essentially grandstanding to this country and kind of positioning himself in a way in which he seemed to be above and beyond many of the many contenders that the bjc bjp <coughs> seems to have the bjp is a party with a whole lot of aspirants as we speak and this is really the one occasion if you see in the last few months where mr advani and mr narendra modi have been on the same platform otherwise you found that on most issues that have captured the bjp attention in the last few months it's been one set of leaders or one leader in particular who's taken the you know uh, uh, center stage so you have a situation here in new delhi at the national executive where all of these aspirants at least most of these aspirants bar one which is sushma swaraj all of them have been on the same stage and you find that uh, mr advani is now trying to speak a different voice where he talks of an nda plus where he basically is addressing the core issues i think one of the things to keep in mind is that both the BJ jp and the congress in the 2009 election found a very specific problem which is that in 2009 the bjp was wiped out of nearly 26 of india's top 30 cities so you find a situation where the bjp needs to really go beyond and expand its mandate and not just speak to the converted and you have found through voices like uh, mr modi in particular you found that they have been speaking essentially the same voice raising the same bogies the same fears and so on so i think mr adwani has strat has tactically and strategically done the right thing probably the wise thing in kind of suggesting that he is beyond these narrow simple you know a uh, confines that yes, the other leaders seem to have yes and so that's why i said he he sounded a lot like a supremo like a, like a party supremo more than you know just a, as just another you know party leader if not as yeah. a supremo at least as a bit of a statesman in the whole yeah. set of people who seem to be just talking just one kind of language is fear xenophobia fdi in retail the foreigner and so on so i think he is trying you know I, this may be very late in the stage in this stage for him at this point but he is really trying to expand the mandate and is trying to talk a language which is beyond i know okay. the straight and Le- narrow india's number one news app just got even better download any tv's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and sudoku ndtv's new ipad app download now